Welcome back in with King family to another F1 Clash video and we're here for the uh, Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. So the main video, uh, the recording for the main video, the, the audio on my microphone was accidentally turned off. So there is no audio for the main video. So I'm basically doing a voiceover off said video uh, for you guys here so we can still make the video work uh, and be active. All right, so we're going to be entering into the Contenders GP uh, this event as we want to try to get that P1 in Contenders. And I think that this event is a good event to jump down into Contenders uh, to try and see if I could secure that P1 uh, for my CC uh, milestone, uh, which is GP uh, wins. Uh, and I want to get that 75% because I'm not going to be able to win the Champions GP. Too much max players are in the Champions GP. Uh, with especially with the grouping by flags, there's no chance uh, a non-max player will be able to win the Champions GP uh, unless he's at a lower flag range where he could take advantage of the system there. All right, uh, but for now we're going to be entering into contenders uh, and jumping into our first race here uh, and get the event started. All right, so there you see we selecting our contenders uh, and we uh, select there. As we're trying to go perfect down here in contenders uh, to get that p1 spot and secure our cc points all right so let's jump on into our first race and we'll see uh what we can do from there we are using leclerc and verstappen uh, for this one so let's jump into it all right so here we go for our first match at the uae uh, so we uh, apparently matched a real player here. Uh, I didn't realize it was a real player until where when we were at the boost selection window. Uh, so we did uh, get a good qualifiers here. Let's see where we're going to qualify. So there we go. We got a nice one, two qualifiers and our rival got a five, six qualifier. So at this point is where I realized that it was a real player because the 20 second timer mark marker was passed. As you can see there. 20 seconds and you didn't see ready on the rival screen uh, so it says waiting for rival that means uh, it was a real player and he was putting on some boost so I dropped in and put on a little uh, boost myself just not the extremist of the extremist boost uh, just a little boost as we were at the front so I started with the softs and the mediums I wanted to get uh, Verstappen out in front in front of Leclerc so I wanted him to team artist Leclerc at the start which you see he did right there uh, kind of slowed Leclerc as he pulled off at the start to get the team orders in uh, what I wanted to get in uh, to get the race going. All right, we gave the rival a little good luck there uh, as we pulled away. Uh, so for here, we're doing front row gameplay here. Uh, so we boosted our lead driver for to create some distance so he could get a free pit stop. Then I decided to follow suit uh, with my second driver to give him some distance as I planned uh, I was planning to go to pit in the second lap with my Verstappen and then go to pit in the third lap with Leclerc. Uh, so I wanted to create as much boost as po as much distance as possible. Uh, so they get a free pit stop there. All right. So now we're going to be serious putting in our go to pit orders for or Verstappen. We wanted no service in, but we put in service in at first. So we cancel and come back to no service in for or Verstappen there as or Leclerc continue to boost for his third lap. And as you can see, or Verstappen made his pit stop with no service in nice and clean uh, and got exit out of pit way, way with a big lead in front of that number three car that we wanted to create. So right away, we're up one pit stop. Uh, so we basically uh, have done a free pit stop there and we've regained the pack in with a huge lead uh, as we are at the front. So Leclerc, we brought him into pit there uh, for his pit stop. And we wanted him to come back out as uh, Verstappen came out in the lead. So we went for no service in on Leclerc. And as you can see, we did 3-6-5 for him. And he was back out in P2, holding it strong. While the rival Hamilton just uh, about to start his fourth lap. As he was using tire boost. So he was going along with that Hamilton for four, four laps to do a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, we basically had fresh soft tires. So when he goes to pit... We're basically going to be boosting or Verstappen around for another lap and then come back to mediums on Verstappen and pushing him to finish as uh, he will be winning uh, this race here. All right. 
So there we go. Boosting on reverse stepping around as the rival goes to pit to create that little extra distance on boost. Uh, flying around there as Leclerc will be coming back in the six. Uh, and as you can see, huge distance created uh, to the number three and the rival with or uh, Verstappen boosting away for the entire lap uh, coming back to pit here. Now we're going to be throwing in that service in pit stop uh, to get that service up as that number three car will be going to pit. As we know, the, drive, the rival is doing a one stop four four. Uh, but we have such a huge distance, no way he's going to be able to catch or pass us. Now we're going to boost our Leclerc uh, to go back around uh, and secure this 1-2 quite comfortably. Alright, so there is the rival and he's now pull up on our Verstappen. Uh, but our Leclerc has a huge distance, a huge lead. So he's going to make his pit stop nice and comfy and get back out in a good position. All right, so here we go now in the pits with or Charles Leclerc, and he should be out by the time the rival should be coming around to the pits uh, to go by him. Uh, he should be go, going out. So 495 on the pit stop with servicing, and here we are on the exit. There is the rival right in front of us right there. So we, he did gain uh, some time, but he did lose a lot of his tires uh, to pick up and catch up to us there uh, because he was burning down his tires. Uh, to go catch up we see team orders going there Leclerc taking away uh, Verstappen's lead and pulls away for the win as Verstappen was cut down to conserve to regular driving there uh, so he maintained his P2 position now we're just going to boost them both uh, to finish and the rival does not have tires to boost to finish here so there's no way he can pass any of our drivers uh, to pick up any position and cause any damage to our 47 points that we want to score here, which is our perfect score uh, that we're looking for. All right. So there we go. We're just going to be boosting now to the finish line uh, to secure this victory and secure uh, the one, two for us. The rival now decides to boost a little bit to see if he can squeeze in there, but no room uh, for him to squeeze in there as the one, two was secured uh, for us there. All right. So we're took a look at the rival and it turns out that this rival was also in our league uh, as well all right so great race there for us we had the higher team score in that one uh, and we, we when we look at the debriefing here we saw that we had a higher level drivers uh, than the rival and he had lower level parts as well so the mirage is what inflated his team score uh, causing him to match with me uh, at that level all right so as i said if you do get a good match with the mirage it's going to be a 10 percent chance if you get in a good match uh majority of the time it's going to be a bad match with the mirage all right so we jump on into the next race all right so here we go for our second race of the video you know i normally do two races in our qualifying video and save our last two races uh, just in case if we got messed up we can uh, put in three points and uh, jump out and go again the other day all right so here we go we got uh good qualifiers here another one two for us hopefully in contenders the uh thing that happens when you're qualifying and all of a sudden you just see your drivers qualifying way in the back hopefully that was fixed and we could not get affected by that all right so here we uh, here we go again we uh wanted to use a boost with some tire management here so we opted to go for the eternal flame i have a good amount of it so i throw that on verstappen as for Leclerc, we are going to go back with the Instinct uh, to get that extra fuel. And we're basically going to be doing the same strategy that we just did a while ago. We're basically going to run one driver for two laps and run the other driver for three laps. Try to create as much distance as possible. This time around, uh, we did not put the soft tires on Verstappen. We put it on uh, Leclerc because he was in the front. And then we see the mediums getting a better start. So we had to hurriedly team orders or Verstappen and then boost him back up. Uh, to let Leclerc go ahead and get in front. So the Eternal Flame there got a great start uh, compared to the Instinct start uh, with Leclerc on the softs compared to Verstappen on those mediums. So we basically did the same strategy. Uh, at this portion, I was wondering, I was looking at it and I was like, well, we're not creating as much distance uh, that we would like to create. Uh, so I was about to cancel uh, the strategy and go for a different strategy, but then I placed it in right there. I, I wanted to go for no servicing 
on that pit stop but it, i accidentally went on servicing and i'm going to be trying to change it at the later part but it's going to be unchangeable at that part that i'm going to be trying to change it at so it's going to lead us to get like a, a slower pit stop compared to what we would have gotten uh, if we had no servicing so here is where I'm, i noticed it then i'm going to switch and try to switch it to no servicing before we enter it into the pits uh, but it was a bit too late as you can see we got serviced and we still kind of got out right in the lead right there but if we did not get that service we would have been out way earlier uh that we wanted to be out in all right so we pushed over verstappen now to continue go around and we brought him back to soft tires uh, we opted to go servicing this time I, again i wanted to go no servicing on verstappen uh, but then the distance was looking really good uh, so i expected him to come back out uh, in front of that number three as Leclerc was holding the pack up so I just opted to let the servicing stay and he got a nice quick servicing as again as you can see there and he was back out in P2 and we basically cut down there to conserve or drivers as we create this distance as we continue to create distance as the AIs will now be blocking up the rival so he'll have no opportunity to catch up back to us uh, here all right, so we also see his Leclerc on those hards have not yet gone to pit and he will be going to pit pretty soon uh, at the end of this lap and that's going to leave even a more extended distance from us to that number that number four car uh, in the lead. So here we're going to be looking at boosting our Leclerc around. Uh, I'm not going to be boosting him so early, but I'm looking at boosting him uh, around and bringing him back to some fresh mediums which will be will be the tires he's going to be using uh going to finish so there we go selecting his mediums uh with servicing i uh, wanted to go no servicing here but then again uh, we had that great lead and the servicing time wasn't going to be too long uh, because we were conserving most of the that three laps uh and we're going to just boost at the end here to get him into pit and we had such a huge distance anyways uh, we just allowed the servicing to go uh there and plus we wanted to boost him to finish uh, and we're basically going to be doing the same thing with Verstappen here we're going to let him go around and then we're going to be boosting him back into pit for a fresh set of softs and basically boost him uh, to finish there as you can see the rival Verstappen is on softs as well so he'll be going back to pit so no problem for us and this one too is again secured from there all right so we had a great first two races uh, I'm going to be uh, putting in my last two races later on. Uh, if I see a problem with my last two races, then I'll try my best to opt out uh, and get pushed out. And then I could go again tomorrow. Or if I happen to get a bad match uh, where I get somebody that's way, way higher and stronger than me. And there's no nothing I could do about it to get back. Uh, then and only then uh, I will just forfeit out. So I could go again tomorrow as you always have to remember qualifying is three days especially if you're running to trying to get perfect and if there's anything safety car or anything that stops uh, your point scores that you were going to get that perfect score stop you from getting that perfect score uh, then all you got to do is basically try to not qualify that day uh, so you could get qualified on the next day as it's three days of qualifying. All right, so we're basically now boosting to finish from here and the race is basically completed our strategy worked great there for us uh, as this is front row gameplay not in the back so you don't need to be conserving uh, so much you want to make sure you go ahead create that distance pull those drivers ahead uh, and get those free pit stops so you get these kind of easy wins nice one two finishes and these are how this is what the top players do with those max out accounts basically uh, they just do their best and get those top scores and pull away and get those distance at the same time you're get, creating that distance you're also going for the fastest lap uh, as well all right so that's basically uh, going to be it for this video we're going to be taking a look at the debriefing window once again we got a rival that we have a bigger team score than uh, this one is even worse than the first race uh, our team score was way better than this rival here and we managed to pull away uh, from this rival and once again we see the mirage in there uh, and I think highly think that the mirage is the reason why the, we get these matches alright 
so we scored a total of 92 points uh, from there. There we go, 94 points from there as we scored perfect as we'll be holding our last two races uh, to see uh, what we need to do. And if not, then we'll go again tomorrow. Uh, so make sure you use code word fame down below to let me know that you made it to this portion of the video. Really appreciate you guys who watch the full videos for all your support. And sorry again uh, about the for the inconvenience of the live commentary not being available. But I did my best here with the voiceover. Hopefully you guys like it. Remember to smash that like button. Remember to enter into the giveaway. Links in the description for 600 bucks. And if you're not yet subscribed, remember to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Well, good guys. Peace. Shout out to Marco Pedrana, JJ, Vidmantis, Christopher Graves, Alfredo Jr., Nathan Arsenio, and Touch My Dilly.